All right. You guys have been asking me. You guys have been asking me what am I gonna make? This is it. All right. This is this is literally it, right here, just for you. All right. This pie up here because y'all already know your boy like to shoot. So I'm gonna choose that one. Or take 10,000 years. Come on, 2K. Please. Six and a half hours later. Okay, whatever. All right, so I went, I'm going with this one because I want to be as fast as I can possibly be. The build that I'm, that I'm trying to go for, y'all, is I want sort of a Clay Thompson type build. I want to be running off and just lighting people up. That's my goal here. Um, if I can get better than that, then we're good. Okay. So I'm going to be focused on not really even... Let's go first. Let's go shooting first. All right, let's start shooting first. Um, Because I'm a sharpshooter, so y'all really don't even need to see this as far as the finishing part because, like, I'm a sharpshooter, so it's not going to matter. We're going to go mid-range all the way up, obviously. You want to go your three-point all the way up, free throw all the way up. You can take your post fade all the way up, but here's the thing. You don't have to go all the way up with your post fade because of this right here. Um, the point of it is that you want 30 shooting badges, okay? 100% you want 30 shooting badges. So you can take it down a couple. All right, so at 85 is when it goes down. So 86, which gives you more attribute upgrades. Um, pass accuracy, you obviously want that up. Ball handle, you obviously want that up. Um, post moves, you obviously want that up. You can do the same thing with post moves too. Um, you can take it down. Okay, so at 61 is when it goes down to 15. You want at least 15 because you want to be able to do that. You want to do as much as you can possibly do. Um, interior defense, not necessary because I'm a freaking guard, so I'm not going to be on the inside. Perimeter defense is what you're focused on. Lateral quickness, obviously. Steel, you want that up as high as you can go. Block, not even really necessary unless you just want to have a bunch of defensive ba uh, badges, which I do. So I'm going to take my block up. I'm going to take my defensive rebound up because I'm not really worried about offensive rebound. Um, now, I do want my driving layup. This is where you want you want to take it up. Um, and I wanted that as a 72. And then if I can, let me see. Hold on. I'm actually going to take that down a little bit. It's at a 72 right now, but I might. I'm trying to see if I can get the 10 offensive. There it is. Okay, cool. So 20 or 45 here puts it at 10 defensive badges. And then you can take your driving layup up to a 71. So now what we're looking at here is a 95 mid range, a 95 three point free throw all the way up. Post fade at 86, pass accuracy at 84, ball handle all the way up, accuracy all the way up, post moves at a 61. I'm not doing post plays anyway. Perimeter defense is what, what counts all the way up. Lateral quickness um, at 72 all the way up, steal all the way up, block all the way up. Uh, offensive rebound at 45, which is not even really necessary because you're on the outside. Defensive rebound, maybe you can take that up to 69, but that gets us up to 10. Um, and it wasn't even necessary to put the rest in finishing. Um, because like I said, the finishing is close shot. When are you ever sitting at the basket and you tap X and do a close shot? Not as a guard. You're not doing that. You're usually kicking it out. Driving layup. You're definitely using that. You could even, could even go driving dunk if you wanted to. Um, but for me, I'm really not worried about that. If you have an open drive, you can typically get off a layup at the same time. So it's not an issue. And then post hook, uh, not necessary as well. So standing dunk, not necessary. Definitely not necessary. If you want to do any ones out of finishing, driving layup and driving dunk would be the one. Um, but here's the thing. If you're going my build, it's focusing on shooting anyway. So if it's focusing on shooting, you don't want to be focused so much on finishing because even if I put driving dunk all the way up, I would get like three finishing badges. Is that worth it? Over 30 shooting badges? Not at all. So that's the reason. Actually, I can show you, right? So if I go down here, and I take driving dunk up, right? So yeah, I just took that up literally 17 and I did nothing. I did literally nothing. So like, is it necessary to do that? No, it's really not. Um, keep your shooting badges. Keep your shooting badges. All right. So now that we've done this, um, I like to look, I don't want to, I don't want to look like I'm swole. Like I want to look like I'm a nice, I'm a nice 
looking guy you know i'm defined right now so let's just go with defined life i'm going six four the reason why i chose six four um is because i like to be a little bit longer and it doesn't touch my shot yeah my pass actually goes down my ball handling may go down a little bit uh, but it's not anything that's insane, right? I'm just gonna be running off the screens and doing that type of stuff anyway, which is what I normally do. I just need to be able to go crazy like I did last year. Uh, and my ball handling wasn't amazing last year, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, also being tall, like I said, that helps you to play defense, which is what I need. So I'm going 6'4 here. I don't really care about being too tall. Uh, I mean, heavy. Heavy is not really necessary. Um, they're gonna blow by me, they're gonna blow by me. So I'm going 175 um especially since i'm a guard anyway i'm gonna go 175 to speed up my acceleration that'll help with getting around and moving around and stuff uh but strength not too much necessary and then like i said here or earlier yo laser with the 1000 embers thank you so much man i appreciate it brother get cracked bless up brother bless up um this is not necessary either right so if i make my my wingspan smaller yeah does it take my my ball handle up three yeah but is that really necessary no it's not i would rather keep it at 80.6 because that makes me longer um and that means that when i'm in the passing lanes that i can get a couple things going the way that i wanted to go all right obviously i'm gonna go spot up shooter um because that's the wave like clearly the wave and the build that i end up with is um kyrie irving uh stephen curry kimba walker um and if you ask me that's one a heck of a players to be compared to if you ask me um so i'm cool with that Okay, so now we just go to my career and uh, we get it bopping.